My name is Amber Evergreen, and I'm what you call the teenage daughter that rebels against everything your parents say. The one that is always in trouble, and if I'm not in trouble, it means I haven't been caught yet. But after yesterday, I am no longer that girl. I'm officially an adult. What's the best thing about playing your character and the worst thing? The best thing about playing Amber is probably everything. <laughs> I am absolutely, I love, 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 love Amber. She is a, most, a very emotional character, which I love. I, I'm a very emotional child. <laughs> I, I can call myself a child, but I'm a very emotional person. Um, So I think I kind of like, I kind of like, I guess overreacting when it comes to Amber. And I think the worst thing, oh god, I don't have a worst thing. There's nothing bad about playing Amber. Sure, she made a juggle between two guys, but it, I don't care. It's fabulous. I love playing her. The best thing is uh, probably the fact that people care about the character. Uh, there's sort of this turf war going on between Team Rowan and Team Nathan. It's kind of cool to, to sort of step into the shoes of a character like that and, and, and feel that, uh, you know, feels roller coaster. Uh, I've got to admit, though, I. I think the worst thing about the character is like reading Latipule's comments and answering some of her questions which are coming up. <laughs> um, I feel like, I mean, Taylor's pretty nice. Uh, <laughs> um, I like how at the end she knows what she wants. She knows that she's, you know, really gay and she knows who she is now. <laughs> And the worst thing, I feel like at times she can be kind of annoying, just, <laughs> um, she can be pretty annoying sometimes, like stubborn, but she, she's, she's cool, I'm cool with her. Um, I mean, I get to voice him, that's one, that, that, that's, that's one good thing. Uh, the worst thing is I can't do it on my, the schedule I'd like, usually it's like boom, 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 and I'm out, and... Life happens now. Lots of life. <sighs> she is such a sassy bitch. I fucking love her. She, it's it's great. I love. She's just so like, damn. She's just out there, and she's so blunt, and like she's something I could never be in real life. <laughs> You're in love with a pregnant girl that's carrying another man's baby. <laughs> Now that's a whole nother level of pathetic. I love playing her. She's so fun. Um, the worst thing? Uh, she's very, like, she's very prudish. Not prudish. Like, nosy, that's what I mean. Yeah. She's very nosy and she, like, gets into other people's business. Which can be really annoying, especially with, like, the whole Nathan Amber thing. Like, you can't just force a relationship. That's kind of a bitch move. If you could change one thing about your character's personality, what would it be and why? I would change the fact that she kind of like goes between two guys. I'd have her be, I guess, pick one. Um, cause it's my heartbreak for her and I feel really bad for her and I don't want my baby to suffer. She's so fabulous. Mm. I'd probably change uh, some of his inconsistencies, you know, sometimes he sort of comes in for the kill, like he's really devoted and really sincere, and then other times he's just like, oh, well, you know, like, hey, let's not, let's not do this, because, uh, you know, we're friends now. Like, wait, wait, what? What, was she not, was she not worth a hell of a lot to you? Like, what? what? <laughs> anyway, I don't know, I, I'm, uh, never mind. Probably I would make her be more precise with who she is like throughout the whole series because she didn't know what she wanted at first obviously and that whole sneaking around thing was really dumb not what i would have done but yeah probably that because i mean that would make people hate her less but <laughs> i i don't know i kind of like him so far i mean he's done some douche stuff but i mean he's 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 human. He's trying to redeem himself. I mean, it, it seems. Anyway, but 
Otherwise, yeah. That guy. Ooh. Probably her respect aspect, because she doesn't show a lot of respect for people. She tends to put people down, and she talks shit a lot. It's... Yeah, she's not the most positive person. If she could have like a little respect for others, that would be a pretty good trait for her. If you had to play any other character, who would it be and why? You know what? I'm gonna go with Rachel, cause uh, she's similar. She's similar to Hannah, but she's more she's more down to earth. She has more morals than Hannah does. She's less secretive, and uh, she's Taylor's girlfriend. Uh, I mean. <laughs> Probably Rachel because she's more free spirited and she gets a total beautiful person like Taylor and she's fabulous and oh my god, she's so pretty. So pretty. Um, but yeah, she's more free spirit. Sure, she gets herself in trouble, but I love her, uh, I guess her character design and I love her personality. I love how it's just, you know, that type of sarcastic asshole. Uh, I really like her a lot. Easy question. I would not because I think the other characters did an amazing job and uh, I would n come nowhere close to doing their characters uh, any justice. Does it have to be a girl or can it be a boy? Because <laughs> I think you know who I'd choose, but probably Amber because she's pretty cool. I don't know. And she gets to meet with Nathan. Well, actually, I do not like love triangles. I just like, I like precise stuff. Like, if one person likes one person, they have to be together. I hate love triangles. And with that said, if you could change slash erase one of the events that took place during season one, what would it be? Um, probably the whole sneaking around thing with Rachel while, while she was still with Scott. I think that was kind of, I don't know, it's not really something I as a person would do, but obviously this character, Taylor would do that. I would say at the end of season one, um, episode 10, literally at the end, they basically leave Amber alone. Like, they're like, okay, you're pregnant all, we're gonna go to college, bye, good luck with the whole baby thing. And so I don't like how the fact that kind of left, I mean, if my best friend, who we've known for a while, was pregnant and it was like, she'd be scared and stuff, I wouldn't go to college right away. I'd wait just a little bit to help her out. But they're like, nope, I'm just gonna leave you. I'm nathan goes like i'm gonna be here for you i promise but then bye nathan have fun at college and leaving me here in the same town with that asshole rowan no but um i'd probably erase them leaving probably be a happier ending i mean it ends a little bittersweet so like i don't know just somewhere near the end just like stamp a little like a little unicorn boop, like a little button on somebody it just comes out of nowhere and then we just zoom in and it's like hey Smoke this. <laughs> or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What do kids do these days? Do they still do that? Is it some pill form? Do they download it? Do you have to download your highs? Huh. <laughs> I would actually change. There's a really cute moment where um, Nathan and Amber are sitting in, in this closet. Like, uh, you know, because after the dance... Uh, you know, uh, uh, Taylor sort of says, you know, I know you, I know you have feelings for her, and he's just like, what? You know, I, I don't believe that. Uh, that's not true. Blah 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 blah. Anyway, uh, they have this moment where you know the chemistry sort of peaked in there. Uh, unfortunately, that's not saying much about uh, you know Nathan's execution in in later episodes. He's sort of dropped the ball there. But anyway, um, yeah, he really had a chance. Like, you know, I don't know if people have seen How I Met Your Mother. But like every time they talk about that was a signal, that's the signal. Like, <laughs> and then uh, Ted sort of screws up missing the signal, and then he comes back and tells his friends about the long handshake, and and they're like that was the signal again. <laughs> and so it, it felt a bit like that. Like I don't know. I just think uh, he missed out, and and there's, there could have been a chance for Nathan. But I think it was written beautifully because I think that's what Inaya wanted wanted uh, the the audience to feel, and the fact that you know that that still lingers there. Um, definitely means uh, as a director she she did her work uh, damn well fucking amber making out with nathan like he was she literally just went to him like he <sighs> oh that mm. like right after she got with rowan and she got into a fight with him basically she went to nathan threw herself all over him like he was plan b 
and just didn't even care. He was the rebound for her, and that was fucking bullshit. Like, even though I don't really like Nathan anymore, that that was that was rude to Nathan, and it was emotionally damaging to the both of them. She should not have done that, and I really wish she would not have done that, and it never happened. What has been your favorite moment in the series, whether it's something that happened to your character or to another character in the series? I'd say one of my favorite things that happened in the series would probably be uh, in episode 10 when her and Nathan cuddled. That was just too freaking cute. Like how she kind of knocks on the door and she's just like, why are all why are all guys such jerks? And like his reaction, is just, oh my god, it was so freaking cute. My heart melted. Oh, oh my god, I should it. But yeah, I should remember. I should, should both. Um, <laughs> I'll admit, I really liked the scene where Rachel took Taylor swimming and they like went swimming and then they made out in the ocean. That was so freaking cute! Even though she was with her boyfriend. They were, they were adorable and I loved that. And like, just how Taylor like has started to accept herself in the series. I, re- I really like that, and she's opened up about it, and it's really great, and I really love that. Um, I don't know if I can think of another scene that was that great. Um... My favorite moment is definitely when Rowan says, please don't go, because for an emotional scene, uh, I mean, uh, that was top notch. Like, the rain was coming down. Uh, you know, I, I, I didn't enjoy as much the build up to why he says that, but the delivery of that line, of the, of the emotional roller coaster that, you know, Amber, Amber's character went on, and uh, yeah, that was executed flawlessly. That's my highlight moment in episode 10. The police don't go. Um, I can only recall uh, my bits, unfortunately. Um, uh, I would say, you had sex. You had sex. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> that's 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 really all I have. <laughs> okay. What is your character? A snog, a marry, or an avoid? Okay, I had to look up this game to find out what that means. And I did, so I guess I don't really know. Um, to be honest, I would probably avoid people like Taylor. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love playing her, but honestly, I'd probably avoid a person like Taylor. Just because she doesn't really know what she wants. I mean, she does by the end of season one, but... I mean, at times she doesn't really know what she wants, <laughs> and yeah. Who is your daddy and what- okay, what was this? A snog, a Mary, or an avoid? Okay, this is definitely one of those, like, high school things. It's- it's an- it's a whole new slang, I- It's a whole new slang I don't understand. What does this mean? Who- okay, what is your character- I mean, uh, uh, what does snog mean? Does that mean, like, he's kind of a hooker? Kind of a man whore? Is that what it is? He just swaps out and just boom. Uh, a marry? Would I think? Like, would you? Would you wed him? Would you? I mean, maybe season one. I would. I would say no. You wouldn't want to wed that. Uh, avoid. Uh, maybe he's a snog. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm gay. Okay, fuck it. I am googling this. Okay, snog, marry, avoid. I'm gonna say snog, and then an avoid. So like you make out with her, have some sex, and then you just go and never see her again. I mean, that's how Hannah works, I guess. <laughs> uh, what is your character, a snog, a marry, or an avoid? Honestly, I think he'd be quite clingy in a marry. I don't think he's a good choice as a marry because then, you know, like the chase is over and what, what's he do? Anyway, but that being said, maybe, maybe he'd mature and become a great husband who knows marry marry amber if you could if you have a chance marry amber marry her how do you feel about hannah and nathan being shipped together by the viewers i think it's cool i actually really liked uh, in the last episode episode 10 uh, of season one the season one finale where they were sort of sitting together and all cute eating the eating the burgers and and yeah the, i mean there definitely seemed to be a little bit of chemistry there and i can totally understand the shipping uh, disgusting because okay I used to like Nathan as a character and then things turned on its head and he's a fucking douchebag okay um, 
And I never really shipped Hannah and Nathan anyway. If anything, I shipped Nathan and Amber, but that's about it. And now I don't even, I don't even know about that. So a definite no to the Nathan and Hannah. Rachel, on the other hand, hell fucking yes. Rowan or Nathan, ah, oh man, I mean, I've sort of oscillated between those decisions. I think probably I'll give it to Rowan at the moment, but uh, I don't know. I, I guess I'd like to see Nathan make a comeback uh, in the next round, and hopefully uh, I'll get to, to sort of bring out a little bit more of my uh, energy for that because, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for, you know, that showdown. None yet. None have really claimed the crown. Uh, uh, Nathan. Oh god! <laughs> it's like I want to explain why. I mean, I have no reasons. I mean, it's just I have a brother named Nathan. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Rowan. Um, Rowan's been growing on me, even though I really loved Nathan from the start. His character's definitely changed. He's gone through a lot of character development, negative character development. So uh, I'm gonna go with Rowan because he seems like a sweet guy, and even though he's fucked up. He makes up for it. Um, I don't think that's even a question. Like, um, obviously Nathan. You know I love Nathan. He's awesome. But Rowan's pretty cool too. I don't know, Nathan. First it was Rowan, then Nathan, then Rowan, then Nathan. Uh, she juggles between them. She'll probably pick one in season two or season three. No. I said creator one, so creator season three. Yeah, yeah, I like that video. But um, she's probably gonna pick one, and it's gonna be really exciting to see. Do you acknowledge that you're kidding? <laughs> I love this question because it's literally Dana's comment on the fucking video episode. It was my favorite thing. <laughs> Let me read it out. <laughs> Do you acknowledge that your character is not mentally stable? Do you acknowledge that your character, like, needs to talk to someone? Do you acknowledge that she has this hole in her soul that needs to be filled with the need to butt into people's relationships and ultimately ruining them? I mean, what kind of person just casually meets another person in a hospital in the most creepiest way, by the way, and just indulges themselves in a plan to absolutely ruin a couple's relationship without any knowledge of their history and who the people you're ruining are as individuals? What is the matter with your character? Protest. Uh, yeah, my character's fucking psycho. Um, I acknowledge that. Um, I get it. Uh, that shit with Amber and Nathan was bad. I get it. I get it. Uh, Hannah just needs to, like, get out of that and get with Rachel. And that's it. Yep. <laughs> uh, does all the whining and crying your character does hurt your voice? <laughs> Let it be, my girl. <laughs> um, no, because I'm very practiced in real life doing the same thing. Uh, how does it feel playing someone so bad? <laughs> Ah, oh, man, let me just, uh, let me just feel my rump here. Oh, I must be a method actor, because my ass actually does hurt a bit. I've been sitting on not the most comfortable of a chair, so it just feels like how it feels like to, to carry on day to day. Uh, how does it feel playing one of the best characters besides Rachel in the series? I wouldn't know. You'll have to ask somebody else that's more popular. I mean, uh, sure. Okay, I'll take that. Go me. Answer as your character. Describe yourself in five words. I would say I am artistic, mm, playful, sarcastic, protective, and an asshole. Do you think that you still have a chance with Amber after the scandalous incident at the party? Well, I think that since then, I I've realized the damage that I've inflicted on her. Just, if it had been me, I pr probably <laughs> wouldn't even take me back, but I'm working towards a brighter future. How do you feel about being friendzoned by Amber? Do you think you have a chance with Amber now that you and Rowan are no longer dating? Um, well, I guess, 
I feel like I have a chance, but at the same time, after what just took place, it's going to be hard to make things go back to how I felt. I don't know. I really don't know how I feel about the whole situation. I definitely love Amber, but those feelings have changed over time, and I'm trying to work out where I stand there. Uh, describe each guy, Nathan and Rowan, using only one word. Okay, before that whole Rowan event that happens... Oh, God. Just thinking about it makes me mad. Um, I would say Rowan would be perfect, and Nathan would be friend. But after what Rowan did, I'd say cheater. And for Nathan, I'd say cutie, because he is cute and he was there for me. After witnessing what Rowan did. Do you prefer single life? Or relationship? Well, for the longest time, I've been ha a happy single boy, but, you know, as I get older and as relationships get stronger, I mean, well, I guess that's, that's to say that anything is possible. Okay, um, who do you think is better in bed, Rowan or Nathan? I'm sorry, Nathan. Your cuddle, your cuddles are better, but Rowan, that body. <sighs> when will you make him move on, Amber? For God's sake, I sort of got a move made on me. I don't know. I just uh, look. I'm trying. Maybe season two has some more ripe fruits for the picking, and we'll see what happens. But go easy on me. I uh, was definitely out of the picture while Rowan was in the game. I don't know. I don't know if that was any good. I'm sorry. I'll do a better job playing Nathan following a script, but <laughs> yeah. Thanks for your questions, guys. That was really nice of you guys to ask. And, and thank you, Ladabiel. You know, I know you roast my character every time, but I do love seeing your comments and I love seeing other people who support, um, you know, just the, 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 the triangle, really, and, and, and the whole story, like, and I love Inaya's work. And yeah, just thanks to anybody who uh, wanted to ask me questions and taking interest in this. Really nice of you, really sweet of you. Okay, bye. Like, a lot of the character has, a lot of the characters have some really bad problems. Like Amber's fucking annoying and she's self-conscious and she has some really personal problems she needs to work out and she like uses people nathan's a little bitch um he just wants to get with amber um taylor she's got some shit parents or else i pick taylor but uh she's got some bad parents rachel runs away from her problems and like just leaves when she needs to get away um so yeah, I go with I go with Rowan because he seems like the most stable character to be like the most stable person to be in real life. Like I'd rather have stability over like all this drama stuff cuz it makes the most sense.